with the latest mold soaps. Now, if you're hoping to jet up on holiday this summer but don't want to spend a fortune, have you considered going off the beaten track? North Macedonia is Europe's up-and-coming holiday destination with plenty of sunshine and beautiful views at a bargain price. Craig Doyle is live from there now this morning. Morning! Hello, you! Hi, how's it going? This is how I like to start every morning, just myself and the guys meet up, have a few tunes. <laughs> Isn't it lovely, though? Hello, welcome. <laughs> it's lovely, right? Um, welcome to North Macedonia. Look, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't know a huge amount about this place until I came here. I'd say it's the same for a lot of you at home. Being here a few days, it is absolutely stunning. It has everyone just in love with the place so far. The nature is brilliant, the landscapes are brilliant, the culture, the history is great, the food is great. It might be just a little bit behind the curve when it comes to some of the standard tourism stuff, but that's only going to get better because industry insiders say that this place is the new hotspot for British travellers. So, where are we? Well, we are in the deep southern part of the former Yugoslavia. It is landlocked here in North Macedonia. So, we have Kosovo and Serbia to the north. We've got Bulgaria to the east, Albania to the west. You can actually you see it just over the border and Greece to the south and you get a real taste of all those cultures here when it comes to the food and the drinks um, so landlocked means there is no seaside you don't need one though oh no no because we have got this this is Lake Ocrid this is one of the most stunning sites I've seen anywhere in the world 135 square miles of pristine pristine water. I was swimming in there this morning, cold, but absolutely delicious. And now you can see the mountains surrounding it with all those mystical kind of clouds, like little tablecloths on top. And in the middle of all that, there's little towns and villages you can wander around. It's really, really magical. Great place to come. It's been such a lovely time so far. And it's only three hours from the UK. So it's an easy, easy flight. The airport, Ocrid Airport, it's only 10 minutes from here. And it was actually opened in the 70s for Queen Elizabeth's uh, visit here. So a uh, bit of a connection there. So where are we actually at the moment? Well, we're on the edge of the town of Ochrid and this actual setting here is the St. John Canio Church. A lot of churches in this part of the world. In fact, it used to be called the Jerusalem of the Balkans. 365 churches and monasteries, one for every day of the year. And most of them I've seen so far occupy these incredible positions. This is spectacular. Lads, you have great energy. You're, this is fantastic. <laughs> this is spectacular. But you want to see where we were yesterday. The Monastery of St. Norm. It was like a movie set. I've seen nothing like it perched right over Lake Ockrid. This gorgeous, gorgeous view. All these cobbled little streets throughout it, wishing wells, really, really peaceful. And a hotel beside it that a lot of movie stars go to for a bit of peace and reflection. George Clooney, Julia Roberts spotted there in the past. Then, right at the top of the town here, Fortress Samuel. Now, that is really, really special. All the kind of hot spots from history throughout the ages are represented there. Roman stuff, Byzantium. And it's got fully intact medieval walls which you can walk, so you can pretend to be a soldier walking around. I loved it. We're like kids again. It's brilliant, brilliant. We're going to show you more of that over the next few weeks uh, in little films we've done for you. This is really just a snapshot. So I've made some really good friends. Hello there. This is great stuff here. Um, Shivka, how yes, are you? I'm fine, really good friends, you? forgot your name. How fake am I? <laughs> so good to see you. Thanks for coming along today. You're a guide here, so you're very, very proud of Ockred. Yes, And it's course. a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Why is that? Yes. Uh, well, because uh, it's a beautiful nature, uh, because uh, Ocrit is cultural heritage with 365 churches, uh, because uh, there is a huge history. Actually, every stone in Ocrit is uh, uh, archaeological story. And of course, uh, because, because of the educational tradition, which uh, start on 9th century uh, with the Clement University, where is created uh, the first uh, Kyrillic alphabet in the world. First university in the world, first alphabet in the world, yes. all happened here. It's yes. brilliant. It's brilliant. Yes, wonderful exactly. streets. You see all this stuff. Food. We need to know about food. So what are traditional foods? What can people enjoy when they come here? Uh, so tradition uh, in Ohrid, of course, is the most famous fish from the Ohrid Lake. Then we have beautiful uh, cheese from the uh, mountains and beautiful lamb. And of course, we have uh, grapes filled with the very, very delicious wine. We like all those things, fantastic. <laughs> and also, you left out the really important bit, because this is rakia, okay? So this is basically their whiskey, their cognac. Very traditional drink here. It's ploughed into you everywhere you go. It's really, really good. This one's made uh, from cherries. Cherry, yes. This one from plums. Grapes. It's about 45%. Yes. But you know something, Zivka? Somewhere in the world, somewhere in the world, it's five o'clock, yeah? <laughs> so down the hatch. 45%. Cheers. Cheers. Ostrovia. Mm. 
Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Early for that. Nice talking to you. Good stuff. It's my other pal, Pavlina. I can barely speak. That's so strong. So, this is very particular to this area, isn't it? It's beautiful, beautiful jewellery people can buy when they come here. Tell me more about it. This is the oldest traditional way of making jewellery by us. We use fine silver and gold. Every piece is unique and we have the unique stone, what is endemic for this country. We call it Macedonian ruby. It is korundum and it is the only ruby in the world with pink colour. It is absolutely stunning, all handcrafted. This is gorgeous. And when you wander around the little shops around here, you can buy this stuff. Pavlina, thank you so much. Hey, you going, guys? How are you? Oh, I'm full of beans now. I've had some Johnny Jump Up juice there and I'm ready for some music. So, would you mind saying goodbye to everyone with a lovely tune for us all? A little bit of a dance. Can you do that for all our viewers at home? Of course. OK, thank you so much. So, traditional music and dance to say goodbye to you. We'll see you back here with some films over the course of the next few weeks. But uh, take it away, guys, and we'll see you very soon. Take care. Let's go! Absolutely Thanks, stunning. Craig. Very, very beautiful country. <laughs> and great that it's our new holiday hotspot. It is worth saying, though, that, um, that as far as LGBTQ plus rights are concerned, it might be a little bit further back than other countries in Europe.